Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm a broker associate at Preferred Real Estate Brokers and we're here today in Wesley Chapel to show you some homes that we have close to the Tampa area. We do a lot of our, our, our uh, videos for the Orlando area, but today we're down here to show you what's available close to the west coast of Florida. So we're gonna show you the home behind me. The home behind me is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. It's 2,718 square feet of living. It's built by GL Homes, which is a good builder here in the area. They have some very luxurious homes that you'll see in our luxury channel. We'll link the luxury channel below as well if you're interested in that. Now this one here, the base price of this one's $584 thousand dollars now it's the base price today which is in november of 2021 that price will most likely go up with time and also that does not include the lot premium and also doesn't include upgrades and this one does have quite a few upgrades because it is a model home so this one here as you see would be significantly more if you're interested in buying this one make sure you let us know you can contact me at 407-487-3030 and then when the models come available whether it's a year from now two years from now or six months from now whenever they're available we'll let you know so that you have an opportunity to actually buy a model home. They have 11 model homes here at all different price ranges. So there are some options. So let's go ahead and show you the outside of this home. This home does have some really nice elevations with the brickwork. It does have a three car garage. Now we won't be able to see the three car garage, but it's a standard three car garage. They do have that dead bolted inside, unfortunately. So all you car enthusiasts, we won't be able to show you what's in there. But as we come through this paved walkway, we come over to the entrance. As you can see, we have landscaping on either side and the brick goes all the way up to the ceiling, very, very tall ceiling, and of course the door. Now, when you get this door, you probably get a solid door or some privacy glass on here, uh, but they have this as a model home. So it is clear glass right now. So I will see you inside to show you the home. All right, so here we are on the inside of this home. Make sure the door closes. And uh, the first thing we see is we do have a nice accent wall goes all the way up to the 20 plus foot ceilings and a cool chandelier above me. Now, if I keep on coming in and go this direction here, we do see this is where the staircase is going up to the second floor. We'll show you that as we go through the home. And then of course the first room that we have is the family room. So we have a nice couch here, a cool chandelier with these little crystals above it. And then of course they've done an accent wall. This is the stuff that you'll see in model homes where they do all this nice painting and woodworking and also even tile work on either side with glass on either side as well to really uh, make the homes pop. They also have a floating shelf here as you see. So let's go ahead and continue going this direction and then what we'll do is we'll go down this hallway and show you a couple of the rooms down here. Now this door here, this goes to that three car garage. It's currently dead bolted, so we can't get in there. But this will be the half bathroom. They've got some nice wallpaper throughout. Also really beautiful countertop on this one. And of course the cabinets with brass handles. We have a framed mirror and of course this really nice light fixture above us. You can see this is where the stairs are. So that's where the stairs go up to the second floor. So on the other side would be the laundry room. So we do have a little storage area here for towels, but then of course we have our cabinets and of course washer, dryer, nice wallpaper throughout, a little window here for natural light. And of course we have plenty of cabinets, even a little place here to hang your dirty laundry. So that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and show you the rest of the first floor, which as we come out here would be the kitchen and the dining room area. So this is the kitchen. We have a nice big center island here. It's a solid white cabinet and also the brown and brass uh, with brass fixtures here. We do have our dishwashers, a GE profile dishwasher. On the other side is where all our dry goods storage is. So you can put all your dry goods right here. Um, and then as we continue, we do have a nice porcelain sink above this actual center console. We do have the three really cool light fixtures. They're pretty cool little designs. And then we do have our double GE refrigerator, side-by-side -side refrigerator. And then as we continue to go, um, we do have more cabinet space. And of course this beautiful ca uh, countertop here, this countertop is different than the center island. The center island is more solid white, where this one's sort of white with sort of like gray, uh, gray grains through it. Um, and then we do have a monogram uh, uh, microwave and of course more and more cabinets. Now we do have the under the light cabinets. And of course we also have over the light ca uh, cabinet lights as well. Um, we come over to our range, which is also gas operated. It's got a five burner setup and also the oven is right here. And then of course this nice GE vent above it to vent out everything. And the backsplash is a solid piece 
of, uh, of actual or other marble or granite. It's the same as the countertop. So um, that actually matches really well uh, with everything else. So we come back through here, we can see that we have a setup for three people. So we can have three people eating here, or we can go over here and eat in the dining room, which is currently set up for eight people. So we have eight people. And then of course we have plenty of uh, windows looking out at the pool that's in the backyard. And then on the other side, I wanna show you the accent wall. They have this really cool accent wall. Little tiny little touches like this with a piece of artwork in the middle really make a home pop. So this really cool light fixture as well on the center. So let's go ahead and take an upstairs. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like this video. Also subscribe to our channel. We'll be glad to show you a lot more homes and show you around the Florida area as far as model homes. So I will see you upstairs. All right, so here we are on the second floor. And the cool thing about the second floor is we have these engineered hardwood all the way throughout, uh, which is really nice. Now, the first thing we have is the loft, has a nice little sitting area here right near to where the railing for the second story is. And then the interior designers have done a good job here as far as the design. They have these built-in shelves, a little like office area here with drawers and then where you can put all your different knickknacks and stuff. But then the TV's here with this black woodworking that goes all the way into the ceiling. Really, really cool design. Um, so nice little area here. They even have a modern type clear connect four set with uh, black and white pieces. So that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway and show you all the bedrooms. Now, the first thing is this is the air handler door, so that's okay. Um, and then we come down here, this is the linen closet. We'll show you that in just a second when we get a better angle at it. And then this will be the actual full bathroom. So this goes into ceramic tile flooring uh, below me, sort of gray. And then of course we have the um, cabinets with the white countertops, mirror, nice light fixture, wallpaper throughout. And of course we have a tub area where this sort of a beige color tile going all the way up to the ceiling. So next stop would be bedroom room number two and these are pretty spacious bedrooms as you can see um, we do have a nice size I think it's like a full-size bed with an end table but then the room just has a lot of extra space here in the front all the way up to where this actual cabinet is they've done this with like a peach color on the bottom white color on the top really cool light fixture above us and then also they have a light fixture coming down to the little end table now they do have a couple little other cool little things in here they have a closet and this one does have the upgraded cabinets which is pretty cool uh, where you can hang your clothes and stuff something that uh, i do recommend to do for homes they, that looks really neat and gets you like extra space and then we also have this one has its own bathroom and the bathroom as you can see has uh, like the tan color cabinets white countertops and of course we have our toilet tub and then the actual uh, tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling and this wallpaper is absolutely got lots of different patterns and stuff in it uh, pretty neat so anyway let's go ahead and check out the other bedroom so this is bedroom number two so we'll go to bedroom number three, which is right here. So this is the robot bedroom. It's got everything about robots. As you can see, they even have a big stuffed animal robot right here. Uh, cool light fixture above us. Um, some little woodworking here with the black cut paint and sort of like a greenish turquoise color um, wall, wall uh, seat foam, I guess is what you would call that color. Um, and then of course we have a closet on the other side. It's got three epic t-shirts in the closet. So that would be bedroom number three. Now bedroom number four is all about music. They have your old record player and of course all your record albums right here. And then this accent wall is your keyboard for your piano, which is really neat. And then they have all these different things on the Kiss, American Teen, Elvis Presley, all different record labels all around. And in the closet, they have the MTV TV shirts. And check this out, they even got a big mixer pillow for the person who wants everything to do. And check out this light fixture too, isn't that really neat? Like, that's pretty cool. So anyway, that's the third bedroom. Now the linen closet, we can show you that now because we get a better angle of it. So we just have a linen closet here where you can actually put all your towels. So next stop is the primary bedroom. It's right through here. This will be a door. They currently don't have a door on it. 
because it's a model home, but they do put those back on when they sell these models. And then this is the primary bedroom suite. We have plenty of space, king size bed. And then of course we have a little desk area over here. I love how they have the light fixtures on the end tables dropping down with the big globes on either side of the actual uh, end tables. And then this really cool, looks like teardrop light fixture with bronze metal uh, framing on it. And then of course, the ceiling is a tray ceiling, but they've added some woodwork and some paint to make it pop a little bit more than your typical ceiling. So as we go down, uh, we continue down here. We do have two closets that we'll go through this one first. This one's the larger one. So this one's got really nice cabinets. You got your drawers and you even have a little mirror here to put your jewelry and little glass uh, cases here. And then you have your places to hang your clothes and places for your purses. And of course, more clothes over here and here. So plenty of plenty of space. Now on the other side, you know, it's very similar as far as the quality, uh, just a little bit less as far as the space. So you have your shoe rack, places to hang all your suits. And then of course, on the other side, you have other stuff. You have a mirror behind me. You have a thing on rear watches. Um, so you can put your watch collection here if you wanted to. And of course it has the cabinet above as well. So let's go ahead. The last stop is the primary bathroom. So as you come in here, on this side here, we go to see that we do have one sink. This is the side that does have the makeup section. So you can sit here and get your makeup done. It even has the mirror set up for that. Really beautiful light above the mirror. Then we go to the shower, um, has some nice tile work with accent tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then right next to it, we do have a full tub. A lot of these homes don't have tubs anymore. And then on the other side, we do have the sink. This one's just a sink, it doesn't have the makeup area on this side. Uh, and then, but it does have a lot of extra storage here for your towels and stuff. And then of course we have our water closet, which would have a door. And then you have a private water closet here with some nice wallpaper all the way around. So that is this house. It's all uh, 2,716 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. So that's pretty cool. If you are interested in seeing this house or if you want us to send you what's available, we'll actually have a link below where you can do some searches yourself. It's a link to my website. It will ask for your email address and phone number, uh, but we won't typically call unless you uh, ask us to give you a call. And if you get emails, you can unsubscribe to the generic emails and search all you want on that website. And of course, if you want us to send you our customized links to homes that you like, we'll be happy to do that for you as well. Again, 407-487-3030. You can call text, leave a mess message if you call, because sometimes we're out here filming homes and we can't pick up the phone while we're filming. So, but we will give you a call as soon as we can. And I'll be glad to meet you, talk to you and uh, help you find a house. Take care. Bye-bye.